Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be going over the things that I made in the month of May as well as a haul of sewing related things that I picked up in the month of May. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, I feel like I was very prolific this month and I did my best to sew at least like a little bit every day after I got home from work. Maybe fix that little cleave there. Um, so the lot I'm going from last to first of what I sewed. So the first thing, or first last thing that I sewed was the cut sew dress, the Lolita dress. Um, and this was technically my muslin. Um, and it took me quite some time to accomplish it but I think it turned it turned out really cute but it's not re really wearable for me in the way that I would want to wear it um this is too short the what am I trying to say here the torso part is too short and then the dress is very too short uh, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be tiny, but this is a little bit shorter than I anticipated. Um, and the fabric I used is just an old sheet that I had, um, and then the binding seam binding is just part of my humongous stash of seam binding that I picked up along the lines. And these buttons, I believe, were a gift from one of my friends. I don't remember right now. Um, so I will show you it on the best that I can. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm just wearing my normal shorts that I was wearing underneath this, so technically you're supposed to wear like sissy shorts with this or the bloomers or whatever things I got. Uh, my idea was wearing bike shorts with it, which these are not, um, that, and then I would go skating in that. Um, so as you can see, this is way too short. Um, my natural waist is here which is where this should be down to, which would increase this a bit. I think it, it would be best on me if it was here, um, but whatever. So here we go, here it is on. There's the bow, there's the buttons, here's the back. I love the back, I love this. I'm not gonna lie, I love the back because I can just think of all the different ways that I could customize it. But I don't like how this part was made. I don't like that there's no facing. Oh well. Oh well. I made it. I went through the whole thing and I made it. I don't know why I want to like finish a muslin. But it just it feels weird if I don't finish it. I guess I'm not good at doing muslins in the way that they're supposed to. Anyways. Here you go. Otherwise, I really, I really love the back. It went together really well, other than the, it's hard to tell, but the ends here, they didn't really finish quite well. I don't know if that's my fault or not. Um, and then this doesn't, you can sew it on, but they only have you sewn on the back. I've seen other ones where they put little, like, things right here, little snaps to kind of keep it on, but that was not part of this um, instructions at all. So I originally wanted to make this for my skating um, when I go back roller roller skating again outfit, just like a cute one. But I don't I don't know if I would want to remake it again um, with adjustments or not. Just because some of the construction pieces on it were kind of not really up to par <laughs> for me. Um, there's, so like for instance, there's no facing on this button placket. Um, I've never seen that. Their, their way of doing it was just folding over the fabric, over the fabric twice, um, which I wish there was interfacing here. I think that would make it a lot better. Um, so that was not really the best for me. They had some interesting ways to complete some of the construction parts but it still it turned out really well and I used uh, some canvas for my interfacing I don't use the iron-on interfacing so yeah that's the story that one the next one that I worked on were some leggings um, 
from Seamworks. So these ones I had in, I bought specific fabric to work on these. So I made, first I made the muslin out of some rainbow fabric that I had in my stash. And it came together really well. I thought the gusset part was kind of cool when I was like making it. Let's see if I can show it here. I mean, it obviously looks pretty cool with the fabric. Um, but upon wearing it, it's really itchy on the inside. It's not very comfortable with how you put the gusset in. And I don't know how you can make it not uncomfortable like that. I don't know if you put something on the seam, like some seam binding tape or something, but yeah, it's just kind of distracting. Other than that, the rise on the back was way too low for me. So I reached out to some people on the internet and asked them for their tips and they gave me a tip on how to make it, how to lengthen the back rise and it worked. So this was my second pair um, that I made color blocking and this was the original thought um, when I was buying the fabrics and doing my whole plan was I was going to do leggings that were color blocked or in really fun fabrics and so this was something that I had planned. So the rise turned out really well on, on this and I'll show you it on but I still had that issue with the gusset seam. It just was, I don't know if it's because the gusset seam is so big on these um, I've seen other gussets where it's just like a little triangle, a little tiny triangle, and I feel like that would be fine because that would be covered up by my underwear, but this like goes all the way down my legs, so that was kind of weird. Um, it, so, I don't know. <laughs> it, it, you know, it gets the job done, but also this fabric is way too see-through for me to wear at a yoga class. I can wear it at my home yoga class, but yeah. Uh, so right now I'm going to be looking for another yoga, like a yoga or leggings pattern, um, to see if I can find something with a gusset that makes more sense to me, or maybe a different type of a pattern where it doesn't have a gusset. I don't know. That's for next month. Great. So here are the leggings. The first one, the muslin. Um, it's, to me, it's very obvious because this you could see my underwear you can fully see it um the lowness how the rise doesn't come up in the back which is which is really interesting to me i wonder makes me wonder if all of my pants i have this issue right here and why why do i have this issue i don't you know i don't know um otherwise it fits they fit and the legs fit great the the length is really good i didn't have to shorten it or anything so I was really into that, but yeah, this here, it feels so weird. I don't like it. I don't know why they made that gusset like so long there. It could have just been right here and it would have been fine. So there's that. Still totally wearable. Will I wear it? Maybe, maybe, we'll see. All right, now let's show you the fixed version. Okay, here we go. See that? See that? Nice, I'm fixed. Nice! Fits much better. Although very see-through on this. I don't know, I can't tell from the screen right now if you can, how much you can see through. But the back is perfect. Hi. I was so happy to do my first alteration and it worked out. Ugh. It was kind. It was kind of easy. I kind of messed it up, but then it, then I figured it out at the end, and I was very proud of myself. So, same issue here with the fun gusset. This is so attractive. Um, so yeah, I really I don't like that gusset, and I think I really need to find a better pants leggings pattern. All right. The last thing I sewed. Well, the first thing I sewed was finally finishing this, the Gertie pattern that I've been wanting to do for a while now. So I finally did it and technically this is just the muslin, but this was 
in a fabric, uh, another bed sheet jungle fabric. And I did the little piping rickrack on top. Which I so with this one, I <laughs> firstly I accidentally put the pockets in the wrong way. One, I think one is the right way and one is the wrong way. I don't even know. I don't even know <laughs> how that happened. Oh well. Um, but I'll try it. I'm going to try it on for you guys, obviously. But when I initially turned, tried it on, this waist was too tiny after I had cut it out to fit my waist. So, you know, that's, them's quarantine times right now. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. But maybe I can put this on with some underwear, some spanks and it'll fit a little bit better. Um, I did do the lapped zipper in the back, which is, I hate zippers, I hate putting in zippers, but you know, that most of Gertie's designs require that. And I did mess up a little bit right here, but you know, I'm not gonna be too upset about that because no one's gonna notice it except me. So I really love the design and I do wanna make it again and hopefully make the waist a little bit bigger so I don't have to be squeezing into it. But yeah, so cute, so cute. There she is, Miss America. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, here, <laughs> here's the dress. I even went and put some Spanx on for y'all just so we could have the nice silhouette here and the little belt, a little animal print belt just to match so there she is right so cute i i you know this is me like kind of like the first time really wearing it and i'm i'm a little bit yay or nay on the how high this is i don't know and then i noticed that my back kind of comes out a little bit so I feel like that is a fit adjustment that I do not know and then I kind of lied both of the pockets were put in the wrong way way to go way to go me all the way um <laughs> I don't even know how that happened but woo so it's it's cute though right it's a cute little summer dress I literally don't have anything like this is that ridiculous? I should have like 10 of this type of dress. This is so me. I love things that hit right here on the natural waist. I think it's very flattering for me because my hips are a little bit wide so I don't have to worry about fitting that. So, so cute, so cute. Thank you Gertie for making cute patterns. All right, bye. I realized I haven't done a sewing haul in a minute so I have a lot of things to go over and I have my little book here so if you see me looking down it's just because I gotta remember everything. So the very first thing that I got a while ago was this amazing vintage fabric of these penguins just hanging out in the sun at the beach having the best time. And I scored this after I finished the Pippet Lounge wear set last month uh, because I thought that this would be just so perfect to make another one of those in with my modifications so I'm really excited I probably maybe ugh, I'm like a little bit afraid to cut into this fabric but I had such good results with the Pippet loungewear set last time I only need like very little minor adjustments for the rise yeah, that was pretty much it. Just the rise on the short and then be perfect. So I think that's what I might use this for. I'm not sure. Maybe watch my June makes video. <laughs> um, another thing that I bought a while ago, I bought this in April, um, was the Tilly and the Buttons stretch book. Um, I have one of her other books as well. She is the only books sewing books that I have bought actually I'm surprised I don't own any of the Gertie ones because I love her pattern so much um, but my thought was I'd been I'd been getting kind of frustrated with a lot of the wovens that I had been making so I wanted to buy a stretch book so I could work on some knits and 
maybe they would be a little bit more forgiving. So I think I'm gonna do a pattern out of this book for the month of June, so you'll be able to see that soon. And then after I was making my last, one of the last patterns that I was working on, I realized I was running out of my tracing paper. I don't know if you guys use this stuff, but I bought it when I was still living in New York. It's just like some white paper with a bunch of numbers on it. Um, I got it like in the fashion district down downtown Manhattan um, and I've almost run out of it and I would have been so upset if I was in the middle of tracing off a pattern and I didn't have enough to finish it. So it actually took me a minute to find this. Joann's didn't have this, Michael's didn't have it. I had to buy it from directly from somebody on Etsy that it's like a shop in, in LA. So they only have pretty much a just a couple of things just for sewing. I think it's based around a sewing school. So I needed this, but then they had a couple of other things that I was also looking for, so I picked those up. I finally purchased a Luptana. Hopefully that focuses. Never had one of these. I've always done the, the uh, safety pin method. And then I got four of these. They had like a little bulk thing. After watching one of my favorite YouTube people on here, whose name I can't remember right now, I'll pop it in right here, um, she did a whole video on these, and I don't know why I didn't realize that these go, get dull after a while, and there's no, I don't know any way of sharpening them, so I have had some in my, in my collection for quite some time, and I didn't realize why they weren't really working that well. And uh, after watching that video, I understood. So I picked up four of these. And then the last thing that I picked up is a ruler. I finally got a ruler. Um, I don't know if anybody else. I watch uh, Grace um, Weezer Dreams. I think that's her handle on Instagram. I watch her every single day. Every single day I watch her. Um, and... I was envious of her ruler collection and I saw this one and it's an ace uh, ruler and I had to get it because I, I'm i not good with fractions, I've never been good with fractions unfortunately and I'm trying to get better but uh, this so I get confused sometimes with the eighths so I picked this up and I'm very happy and I've already used it to put on buttons on one of the other ones and have accurate measures and I'm very happy and I will be more excited to get more rulers in the future <laughs> so those are the four things I bought from that shop and I also picked up some elastic from another Etsy seller some wide elastic um, after I had made the Pippet loungewear set I ran out of the wide elastic in my stash so I just picked up some more of that because I really like how that waistband fit on me and I picked up these from Amazon because I it finally got dull. So my husband actually bought me my first Fiskars, this is not focusing, my first uh, rotary, rotary, what is it called? I can't know. You know what, I'll put it right here. Rotary thing that cuts fabric. Um, so he actually bought that for me as a gift and, and my mat that I have and they f it finally the blade just finally died and I was like oh god I hate I, now I hate cutting fabric with my scissors <laughs> except when I'm like at the sewing table over there uh, so I had to get this and it was so difficult to find people selling these for some reason I have no idea why um, so I'm very happy to have that back in my stash and I also picked up this after watching Grace's videos for so long it is a very, very big cutting, cutting board. Um, right now I just, I can only really use it this, in this big of a portion, but maybe if the cat will let me at some point, I can use it a bigger one. And then the point is, point, the hope is once we move, in August and I have my own room again 
let me get situated and I have my own room again then I can set that up and have my own table my own cutting table and it'll be so glorious and I can't wait for it so that is that is that because my other cutting mat is a little bit smaller but I still love it um okay so let me just see what else I got here okay I also picked up the Gertie she was doing she released two new charm patterns the Stan Wick skirt and the Hepburn top um, and I'll post pictures here of those so I bought the bundle I'm also like a part of her patreon so I don't know if we got like a discount or something like that so I was really excited I'm actually cutting out the Hepburn top now it's just like a in between thing that I wanted to work on I need now I need to get some good striped knit fabric because she has like a red and white one that I was like oof, that is gorgeous and it will show the cleave pretty nicely so I bought those two patterns I also just today bought the Sophie Hines access tank as a gift for myself for completing one full week of yoga so proud of myself um, and the thought is I will use the access tank to you know do more yoga and just look real cute um, and the last thing that I bought was the studio costura I'll put it here um, Mara bralette I made a bra many moons ago and it did not fit me at all and I love watching Liz sews all the time and I'm so envious of of her and how much patience she has to make all of those bras every and do all of the adjustments. I am just I just like to cut it and and go. I'm I the adjustments that I did this time is like the most adjustments that I've ever done. So I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> so those are all the things that I've made in the month of May and a haul for a couple of months now. Uh, we'll see if it slows down anytime soon or maybe not because you know I love my vintage fabric. Anyways, I wanted to thank you guys so much for joining me today and I do have to say hello to all my new subscribers. I'm going to pull it up right now because I want it to be accurate. I want to get I want to get every single last one of you a very big thank you. How much do we have? Oh my god. 28 subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting me and being here through all of this fun, crazy quarantine luxurious laying around on your chaise lounge watching me video time. <laughs> uh, I really appreciate it and I'm so happy that you're here with me. Please feel free to comment or ask me questions or say things to me below. I love receiving comments and uh, thank you so much for your time and I will see you in the next video. All right. Mwah.